Hello, this is Vivek. Welcome to another video in Coding Nitro Forms video series. Here in this video, I am going to work on adding a CSRF tokens to our Coding Nitro form. Let's just work on that future. And for enabling CSRF tokens, I am going to config directory config.php. Let's scroll down and check for CSRF tokens. Here you can see CSRF protection. Just make it as true. Okay, let's reload the page and submit the form. After submitting the form, after submitting the form, let's see what will happen. An error was encountered. The action you have requested is not allowed because I have enabled the CSR of protection and I am not adding the CSR of token to our forms. If I reload the page once again and view the source code, let's reload the source code page. If I check the form, there is uh, no input field for a CSRF token for passing a CSRF token. I am going to add that in this video and we don't have to do it manually for our coordinator forms. If I add a form open function that is coordinates function, it will be automatically added to do that. We have to load a form helper. Let's load the form helper. I am going to form controller. Let me comment this section. I'm not going to use this for now. This validations and all this. Okay. Before uh, loading this form helper, let's add this uh, form open tag here for our form. I'm commenting this form open tag PHP block. It's just a simple echo statement. Echo form underscore open. That's it. And uh, we can pass the action URL for submitting. This action URL will be controller method or a route will be passing controller methods mostly. And next attributes, we can create an array for passing these attributes. Here I am using role as a form. So I'll create an array. You can pass anything you want, classes, IDs, anything. Role as form. Okay. By default, uh, this form will be set to post method. Call to undefined function validation URLs. Let's just comment this uh, statement because I am not using form validation library. Call to undefined function form open. That's because I am not loading form helper. I'll load the form helper. After that, this error will disappear and we should see the form open tag this load helper form if i reload the source code we should see the form opening tag along with the csrf token here you can see form opening tag url it's passed dynamically and we don't have to do anything if i pass controller method this controller method will be passed okay role form method post input type hidden and a name csrf token value csrf token value if i submit the form the action you have requested is not allowed. That's because I'm not passing the base URL. I should pass a base URL. Let's go to config. Copy this path. Here I am going to paste this and we'll keep till here. Coordinator forms and the index page is index.php. So we don't have to do anything. If I reload, it's working. And if I reload the source code, we should see this path. Okay. Let's submit the form. It's working. Let's go to inspect element. Update this CSRF token. Just modify this CSRF token. I am modifying this CSRF token so that we should see error message. The action you have requested is not allowed. That's working. And that's for CSRF token errors. And one more thing I want to show you is if I add something in our action URL, if I add action URL and we should pass a controller and method. I'm passing the method as action URL and we can submit the form to this action URL method. Let's just reload the form. Here you can see form action URL and we can create the action URL and we can accept these inputs in that controller method. 
I am just randomly created this action URL, but you have to name it as per the application or the future you are going to build. Okay. Here in this video, I have added a CSRF token protection to our forms. And in this coordinator video series, I am going to work on one more feature that is uploading files through coordinator. I am going to work on that in the next video. Thank you for watching my video. Do subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please post it in comment section.